Welcome, everybody. My name's Jerry. How you doing? I'm doing just wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. Once again, coming at you with another Top 5 Pentacles episode. This time, 13. Oh, no, an unlucky number. Yeah, just shut up. This is going to be an awesome episode. In fifth place, starting off this wonderful episode, we're going to see Annie and Poppy duking it out back and forth until Hecarim gallops in, scaring Poppy off and heading back in mid. But Annie is low and Poppy circles around in and stuns her against the wraith wall, igniting her. She goes down. And the mutated pony retreats as misfortune fortuitously. Big words catches all five blue and her all threats crabs. Tark as he tries to back out, getting them all very low. And Hecarim ults back in, getting Cassiopeia for the first kill, rampaging through. Thresh goes down for the double and Tark is getting dove by Zed, finishing him off with ignite as Hecarim chases down Poppy. She tries to ult, but another rampage swipes for the Triple Zed shadows forward and it's a 2v1 with Draven coming back trying to CC but Heck keeps focus on Zed getting ignited and dropping really low coming down to the wire he gets the quadra kill and now finishes off Draven with one final charge and rampage for the well played Penta kill. In fourth place, keeping up on the epic action, Purple is doing Baron Asher and Zed lines up in shadows and stealing Baron as Purple J4 is knocked up, he death marks and Blue rushes and taking advantage of the mayhem. Rise and Master, you go down swiftly for the double and J4 cataclysms, catching his own team, blocking them in place. Kate flashes out and the pig flashes in. Zed goes in and Shadow Razor combos, getting the quadra with Caitlyn running away, realizing it is futile. And Zed gets the Penta kill, coming back from a score of three and seven, going out with a Penta and a Baron steal. Securing his team the victory against Purple's final attempt at pulling ahead and the minions will take out the towers for the last hits on the nexus and the final victory. In third place, Purple is doing Baron Nasher, almost finished with it, and at the last second, Ezra Trisha Barrage steals the buff, and Tanky Blue bum rushes in. Ashol's trying to get away, targeted by Nautilus's ult. Ari breaks free, rushing herself out and back in, utilizing damage, getting chased down by Yorick. She cues and hits both Blitz and the Gravedigger, coming back, finishing him off, with her team already tearing as a new one. His GA activates with another orb, and Foxfire grabbing the revenge double kill. Teemo flashes out and sticking together. Purple rolls to Blitz and Nautilus, getting taken down, with Teemo poking from behind, planting annoying shrooms everywhere. She gets the quad on Nautilus, launching another orb. Mouse Q slows it down and Ari flashes Foxfire, charming the team before the final kill, turning that epic Baron steal around into an awesome and well-played pentakill. Now moving into second place. Okay, no. Blue is on the chase and J4 gets stunned in place with Zareth bursting ult damage, trying to stop the pursuit and trying to escape. J4 is killed with the red buff as evidence and his team continue the chase. Blitz is set back. Kha'Zix leaps in, landing spike, slowing Zareth, turning around, queuing, but his HP drops and Big T last hits him for the double and bonus gold and the lovely little lightning golem boosts forward, landing a hook, another leap and a stun signs Alistar's death warrant not having his ult and his shatter grabs the triple. Aurelia comes in trying to take out Blitz, but Mana Shield is too deceiving and she is bursted down. Twitch makes the classy appearance, quickly changing his mind, heading back to his turret, but Kha'Zix leaps forward again, taking tower hits, followed by Tark. Twitch makes the final stand, getting stunned and shattered with one final rise cue, and another last hit lands Tark, the epic chase, last hitting Penta kill. In first place, both teams waiting for their members to join in, putting some poke up Thresh heads towards Fiddle in the bush, and lays down a ward over the wall, catching sight of two enemies that try to take out the ward, with only one last hit left on it. Nautilus tries to head into his tower, but is stunned into the wall with low HP, taken down easily. Fiddle fades away towards Wraith and Vi heads in from top, acting mentally challenged like she doesn't even see the ward. Thresh takes the bait though and gets a death sentence hit, engaging on the juicy 5 0 Vi for the bonus gold, and the rest of Purple Team goes all in. But Fiddle Proxel and Crowstones are the wall, catching all five enemies by surprise. Hash sends it in a helping arrow, fearing Bane, and Silence bounces beautifully, and Thresh is the last one alive. Fiddle below 200 HP cuts back from Karthus's death passive, and Thresh's auto then turning back for the final drain, finishing the kill off with the very professional baited play getting the totally worth it penta kill if you would like to get featured please submit your best stuff to our submit page the link is below the video i'm going to be doing something a bit different for the comment question this time you can do it yourself open up google earth and scroll over to the west coast of africa off morocco's coast and zoom in here just leave a comment saying what you think it is remember to check out our other top five series and subscribe if you want to keep up on videos my name is plato i mean jerry swash